Hey guys, good evening. Tonight our lesson is going to be on absolute value word problems. So the first thing we're going to do is read the problem. So we have a machine. It is used to fill each of several bags with 16 ounces of sugar. After the bags are filled, another machine weighs them. If the bag weighs 0.3 ounces more or less than the desired weight, the bag is rejected. Write this equation to find the heaviest and the lightest bag the machine will approve. Okay, so first of all, when we read this problem, how do we know that it's an absolute value word problem? Well, the key here is right here, more or less, okay? We can be um, above weight by 0.3 ounces, or we can be below weight by 0.3 ounces. So this is our margin of error, if you will, okay? So we need a variable. So <clears throat> what are we talking about here? We're talking about the weight of the bag, the weight of the bag. So we're going to go ahead and use X, and it's going to represent the weight of the bag. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and fill it with 16 ounces of sugar, okay? So the weight of the bag, and we're going to take off the 16 ounces of sugar, put absolute value around that, and the weight of the bag cannot be um, more or less than 0.3. So this is our varying amount, above and below. Now, remember, this number here represents the amount of sugar. So we have to take that amount out of the weight of the bag. Um, so that way we know how much the bag weighs. The bag can't be more than 0.3 or less than 0.3. So solving this, let's go ahead and do the heaviest. So that would just be basically x minus 16 equals 0.3. So I'll do that over here on the side. Adding 16 on both sides. So the weight of the bag can be 16.3 ounces. That's the heaviest the bag can be. Notice you have the sugar, and then you have your margin of error, 0.3. You can be above by 0.3. Okay, so now let's look at the lightest that the bag can be. So the lightest is going to be the other equation. Remember when solving an absolute value equation, you set one equation equal to the positive and one equation equal to the negative. So solving this one for x, we'll get x is equal to 15.7 ounces. And that is the lightest the bag can be. So we can be 0.3 above, or we can be 0.3 below once we've added the sugar in. Okay, let's take a look at number two. <clears throat> the average number of seeds in a package of cucumber seed is 25. The number of seeds in the package can vary by three. 
what are the maximum and minimum number of seats that could be in a package. Now, you need to look for patterns. I have provided you an example on how to set this up. And basically, this is going to be your template for setting up the rest of these. So right away, here they didn't say vary. They said more or less, more or less 0.3 ounces. Here, the variance is 3. So obviously, we're going to be setting this equal to 3. We can be 3 above would be the maximum or we could be three below which would be the minimum and then the seeds is 25 so we're going to do the absolute value of x minus 25 and x is going to be the number of seeds okay so Let's do the maximum. So the maximum is going to be our above. So we're going to have x minus 25 equals 3. Adding 25, we get x equals 28. So the maximum number of seeds we could have in a package is 28 seeds. Okay. What about our minimum number of seeds? Now for you smarties out there, okay, I know that once you get this pattern down, you're gonna be able to give me the answers without setting up the equation. I, Cody, I want you to set up the equation, okay, the absolute value equation, and I need to see both, maximum, minimum heaviest, lightest, whatever it is. I want to see both equations. So minimum is going to be our other equation. Okay, adding 25 on both sides. So x equals 22. So the minimum number of seats we could have is 22 seats. Okay, hope you guys are having a great night, and I'll see you all in the morning. We'll be finishing the rest of these problems in class tomorrow.